I'm in Macomb County on Hall Road. They're putting French drains underneath the new road. They're redoing Hall Road. And there's a lot of money being spent and they're doing it the right way. Now the fabric that we use in our French drains, we always try to educate our clients and tell them, look, you don't want to use a landscape fab fabric. A landscape fabric does not drain. Weed barrier, fabrics that are meant for you know, structural strength behind a retaining wall, things like that. They're, they're not intended for a French drain. So you want to buy a filter fabric that's intended for a drain system. We use the same type of fabric that MDOT approves for under the road construction when dealing with drainage. I'm going to show you how well it works because I've seen on different YouTube videos these contractors showing landscape fabrics. Never use a landscape fabric for a French drain system. Never. They don't drain. All right, so we're going to show you just how well a fabric that's meant to be used in a French drain system works. As you can see, we got a hose, got the hose on high, we got it in a five gallon pail, and it's just running through the fabric without hesitation, no interruption, it's not pooling, ponding, it's just filling up the bucket. The videos that I see where guys show fabric poorly draining, they're using a landscape fabric. They're using a landscape fabric meant for a weed barrier. It doesn't drain the same as a fabric meant for a drainage system. Let's take a look, see what we got. Okay, so the proof's in the pudding as they say. There you go, there you have it. No tricks, just use the right fabric. I'm always talking about how you need a geotextile non-woven fabric to act as a soil separator from your stone. Here's the perfect example. We've been contracted to put in a new French drain. The old French drain quit working. You can see that the stone migrated into the subsoil, the subsoil migrated into the stone, and the system failed. It plugged. We take a geofabric, and you see it in all our videos, a non-woven fabric and we'll line the trench with this then we'll put our pipe in then we'll put our stone now unfortunately we see this all too often there's that pipe with a soccer sleeve on it the whole system failed I'm here to show you the best way to install non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched. Okay, so you see these strips? Those were from too much overlap, and we went ahead and cut. Well, there's probably about five inches there, six inches the guys cut so that they didn't have a heavy overlap. We only want a couple inch overlap. Now... I'm showing you this for a reason, that we went really deep here to get the water out of this yard. So we had six foot fabric and we still had to put a little, see, that's it. Now, the reason why we preach, be careful with the overlap. See, look at all this is cut. Because this is double punched. It ups the flow rating to an insane rate it's it's truly amazing and that's why we uh why we do it the problem with non-woven fabric if you don't double punch it you don't get the root penetration into the fabric which is key because the water travels down the root system versus capillary action and gravity i mean that's Simple physics, man. It, it works, you know, through those two measures of physics, gravity and capillary action. So anyways, the fabric, look at that. 
No more than two inches overlap. Hold yourself to that tolerance. It's time consuming and it's tedious. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The amount of time that goes in to doing a system with fabric. It's it's truly amazing. You know, probably it probably adds well, it, it takes us twice as long. If we just went ahead and dug out the dirt threw a pipe in with some stone, covered it up. We could get out of here in half the time. But our MO is we build French drains that last forever. We build French drains to last forever. And the only way you're going to get a French drain to last forever is if you're using non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched. It's going to up your flow rate. It's going to keep your aggregate clean. You're not going to end up with mud, clay, getting in between the voids of all the stone. That's what kills a system. It works less and less each year until one day it doesn't work at all. And we're pulling those systems out. Every third job we unearth a failed French drain system. So we're well aware of what failure looks like. Failure looks like a system with no fabric. It looks like when you use a pipe with a sock on it and you do not wrap the aggregate. You can't get the water to the pipe once all the voids are plugged with clay. So I see a lot of people this is, this is so key, so important that you take the time to trim your fabric and not just wad it up in a ball because those punched holes, when you overlap it, they don't line up. So you're not going to get water through it. If you don't pull it tight and you have wrinkles in it, again, you're not going to get the water in it. So that's where you hear other contractors say, that don't work. The fabric don't work. Well, it's because they never knew the proper installation of a really good fabric. And there's so many fabrics out there. There's literally tens of thousands of fabric out there. Most of the time, they're using a fabric that's not intended for drainage. And I do know that there's some fabrics that are at um, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards. And they say they're for drainage and they're for soil separation, but they don't work. And I wanted to go over an engineering bulletin that I have. You know, we're not going to get all geeky. It's a five page engineered uh, engineering bulletin on our fabric. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Obviously, this is meant for industry insiders for the most part. But without getting into all the formulas and boring everyone to tears, basically it goes on to say that the purpose of our filter fabric is to permit the free flow of water while retaining soil particles behind the fabric so that we are preventing the contamination of our drainage stone. That's basically what this is all about. So there's a little diagram that they also give, and I just wanted to go over this with you guys because it gives all the details to how this fabric works. So here's a nice little diagram for you. This is meant for, like this diagram here was done on a road construction scenario. So highway edge drain is what this is. So they show a pipe and they show a burrito wrap and then they show all the native soil. They got a magnifying glass and they're zooming in on the fabric. So you got your drainage stone on the left you got in the middle of that magnifying glass, the non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, and then you have your soil on the right side of that magnifying glass. Now this is immediately after construction. So that's how it looks. Now it's not gonna perform its best. It's gonna perform, but it won't perform its best until all the sediment washes through this double punched fabric. Yes, we need the sediment to wash through. I get people emailing me pictures all the time and they're freaking out because they see all this sediment inside their sump pump system. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving them all kinds of reassurance 
it's doing what it's supposed to do. The reason why our fabric works better and better and better is because as time goes on and more sediment washes through the non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, the better the soil filter zone that is formed becomes. This soil filter zone that forms between the non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched and the native soil, that is key along with hydrostatic pressure, and you have all kinds of different things that make this extremely geeky, and we're not going to even go there, but everybody's always asking, can you show us why this fabric works so amazing? Because everyone that's used it gets the same results. They're fantastic. Unless you're just, you know, some knucklehead in Florida throwing a gob of mud on it, going oh, look it's plugged because you know that happens I, i've seen uh, numerous videos like that the reason why our fabric works so well is because it's double punched and the longer you have your system in the better the soil filter zone that's formed becomes this is how this works so immediately after construction it's not going to work its best you got to get all that sediment to wash through it as time goes on and it's washing sediment through that non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched, you are going to create the soil filter zone. When that forms, you are going to get some out-of-the-world performance that you just can't even believe because the contractors that have switched over to our non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, they cannot believe how well it works. This is why it works so well, and they won't go back to not using non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched. So again, this is a great diagram. This is a great example of why our filter fabric is the way to go. All right, everybody, until the next video.